Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today I have a special video working with Laura Geller Beauty. They sent over so many goodies. You know, it's funny the way the world has a way of working. Have you ever noticed that? So a lot of you guys in comments, and as you know, if you've been with my channel, I'm very in touch with my community. So many of you in comments have been saying to me, but yeah, have you tried the baked powders from Laura Geller? Yeah, but have you tried the blushes from Laura Geller? Yeah, but I really like the mascara from Laura Geller. And you know, I pride myself on having a lot of knowledge of the beauty industry, and I was embarrassed to say, that I had never tried Laura Geller. But yet, in all of my videos, it's coming up time and time again. Well, here's that weird way that the world works. All of a sudden, I get an email contact from the lovely people over at Laura Geller Beauty. They found me, and they just asked me if they could send me over some gifting boxes and introduce me to their gorgeous makeup. You can imagine what I said. I was absolutely thrilled, and the timing could not have been better. Just one of those ways that the world just comes together. So today we are going to do a full face. You see it here already. Isn't it pretty? Everyday look. Isn't that nice? We're going to do a full face of Laura Geller makeup together. But I have to tell you before we head into it, because this is important stuff, I have linked everything down below for your buying pleasure. But here's the real secret. Depending upon when you are watching this video, but on the weekend that this video is released, it is Memorial Day weekend, and you can take advantage of the Laura Geller Memorial Day savings. When you click my link below, you will get up to 60% off plus, 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 an extra 10% when you enter code MD10. So that is up to 60% off plus an extra 10 with code MD10. But all of that information is down below with my little links, um, because I think you might really want to pick some of this good stuff up. I really don't know what I like best. We've got brushes, we've got eyebrow products, we've got highlighters and foundation, all these beautiful powders that you guys have been telling me about for so long. I'm finally with the program. Let's go to the demo, and I thank so much the lovely folks at Laura Geller for sending these goodies over to me. Let's watch. Okay, let's get started. I'm really looking forward to this. I have nothing on my skin except some skincare from this morning, and we are going to start. Obvious place to start. We are going to start with the Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer. This is the hydrating version. Now, this comes in, oh my goodness, a bunch of different versions. Here we go. I'll just show you what it looks like a little bit. Looks just like a lotion. Uh, this comes in six actual variations from glowing and brightening variations to just original. This is the hydrating version, and you're not going to be able to tell you have it on. I mean, it, it gives you a little bit of of stick to itiveness for the foundation and a little bit of grip, but it mostly makes just for a nice smooth surface to apply makeup to. So I'm, oh, it feels really nice, lightweight, really nice base, kind of um, almost, almost cooling really, kind of a, a cream to gel formula, not kind of a, but definitely. This product is about $36 when it's not on sale. Um, and depending upon when you're watching this video, of course. All right, so now my skin is already sunken in and the skin feels really nice, but you can feel that it's got that surface that's just ready to take foundation. Okay, let's talk about the foundation. Now I have three shades and we're gonna, we're gonna try them out. I'm moving my hair out of the way. This is the Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation. It's one of a few foundations offered by Laura Geller. This is $36 when it's not on sale. It is, a, as all of the baked formulas are, it's a 24-hour baked product. It's weightless and really matches the skin and comes in nine shades. They gave me the Fair, Light, and Medium. So we're going to try them and see. I'm guessing I'm either light or medium, but we're just going to go see, and they didn't want to take any chances, obviously. This, by the way, is light to medium coverage with a natural finish that's just up my alley, and I think we're going to try to use one of their brushes to apply it, too. It's a powder brush, but I think it'll work. This is the fair shade, which I can already tell will be a little too light on me. So let's go ahead and compare it to the light shade. Oh, this looks a lot better. Maybe still, here's fair, obviously that's a no. Here's light. Let's see medium, because maybe I'm medium. Okay, I'm gonna put fair over here so we don't get confused, because we know we're not fair. Okay, let's try medium. 
Let me get that really, oh, and the undertone is a little different. So I see that the light shade is a little bit warmer, and this one is going, medium is going a little bit more neutral. You know what's fun about these, and this is clearly on purpose, I think I'm going to go with medium, you guys. Fair, light, medium. Because this gets, this is the most neutral of the three. The uh, writing on the back, so I often label my, my makeup because it's, it's not even anything about needing glasses or not. Sometimes it is absolutely minuscule. I give it to my daughters thinking maybe it's me and they can't read it. Um, so these are printed really nice and boldly. It's just so nice to be able to grab a makeup and see what shade it is. Okay, so we know Fair will get that out of there. Boy, I feel like I want to combine light and medium. Let's just try it with medium. This is medium here, and I am going, I just kind of brushed it off, guys. So we have the powder brush, which I have listed, because if you put it on with a powder brush, you're going to get the lightest application, maybe even a little bit too light, but let's just try it with a powder brush, because if you use a fluffy powder brush, it gives the lightest, kind of gentlest coat, um, and of course, the firmer and the more dense the brush you use, um, or sponge, the more of the application you'll get. And it looks like I'm just like attacking myself with the brush here, but not at all. Look how natural that is. And already it's given me some coverage. And I think medium is the right shade, especially because I'm really wearing it in a very light way. Let's try this a little over the eyes. Let's put it everywhere. Then what I'm gonna do, here's what I'm gonna do because I have the shades. That's the medium. And I'm gonna get clever here and I'm gonna take the light. Watch this, you'll be impressed. I'm going to take the light and I'm going to take one of my eyeshadow brushes and I'm just going to take a little bit of this light shade and put it around the nose and under the eyes as essentially a setting powder just kind of underneath my eyes on top of that foundation just a little bit brightening because it's a slightly lighter shade underneath very pretty I'm enjoying that so this comes in nine shades and I have made use of two. When not on sale, the Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation is $36. Okay, now that I feel my base is kind of done, I want to take a look because I think this will really be useful at this point. This is the Bravo Brows Boosting Liner. Now this comes in four shades and they were kind enough to send two. They set taupe and medium brown. Let's go with the medium brown because I have kind of dark eyebrows. This is $22 when not on sale. And I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows down because I like to kind of fill in the top. Let's take a look at this cool little product here. I'm excited about it. Ooh, it's actually almost like a liquid liner, but this is for brows. Let's see how I can do with it, okay? So I'm just gonna gently fill in a little bit here. Ooh, that's pretty, okay. And then just a little bit up here too, where the good Lord above did not give me a lot of brows. Okay, I'm just doing one right now. Um, I'll speed up doing the other so you don't have to sit through it. Watching brows and mascara is really, literally like watching paint dry, and I'm painting here, so. That's pretty natural looking. Now I want to let that dry for a moment before I brush it up so that I don't, you know, brush product everywhere. So let's right now, let's speed this up and do the other side while this is drying. Okay, giving them each a little bit of time to dry. Oh, look at that. It kind of almost sets the brow too. I'm pretty impressed see what you guys think. So I just kind of let it dry, oh, just for a moment, not for long. And now I'm just brushing it up and I think it really adds a nice lilt to my, almost like setting them too. I'm very pleased with that. I think that actually looks really good. All right, let's get back to the face and let's do some blush and some highlight. So we have two blush, two blush shades here to choose from. This is the Blush and Brighten Marbleized Blush. This actually comes in 12 shades, and Laura Geller was lovely and sent me two of the 12. This is $30 when it's not on sale. I've got Apricot Berry. We're going to try them both. And that, look at that. Ooh, so pretty and marbled in there. There's Apricot Berry and also Tropic Hues. We're gonna try them both on. Let me just open them up for you. So here's Tropic Hues. We're gonna put that on this cheek. And here's Apricot Berry. We'll put that on this cheek. And then we'll mix them maybe. 
I have here a kabuki style brush from Laura Geller and we're going to use that. It's a retractable. Check this thing out. So this retracts all the way in and you put the cap on it and then for travel you can, there it is retracted, then you can push it out and use it as a brush. So it is really easy for travel. Okay, let's start with the apricot berry and I'm going to use this kabuki brush. You can use this kabuki brush for anything you want really. It's just so great for travel and I do want to... Uh, overemphasize this just for you to see. Oh, it's so pretty the way it's marbled and it's so glowy. Isn't that lovely? Let me put on a little bit more. What a soft, these brushes are lovely, so soft and nice. I can't get over the way this looks in the... Isn't that pretty? And let me show you uh, this apricot berry. It's really kind of highlighty, if you can see that there on my hand. Oh wow, that's really pretty on the face. Okay, let me clean off the brush and let's go ahead to the Tropic Hues on the other cheek. So I'll be a little mismatched, but I just want you to see both of the shades that they sent me because they were nice enough to send them. I gotta show you, oh, this is like golden. Again, way over exaggerating you guys. These are not application tips. I just want you to see what, what it looks like. And let me just show you it here. Again, marble, look how pretty that is in the pan. We have the apricot berry right here. And then here is the, let me put on a little bit more of that. Here is the tropic hues. Apricot tropic, isn't that pretty? And we have one on each cheek. So I'm looking a little mismatched, I understand. All right, let me go off camera right now and fix that up right now just so it's not so silly. Okay, I kind of evened myself out a little bit. I just wanted you guys to see both shades and they're so pretty. Let's highlight now. Now, interestingly enough, what I really like about these blushes, I can tell you this already, they're kind of a blush toppery, highlighty blush. So I'm getting a little bit of color, which I like, and a little bit of dewiness with no big glitter particles or anything like that. Just kind of a foil-like shine, which is really pretty with that little bit of color. I really like that. But let's add a highlighter because we have one here. So the the blushes that we just looked at, these marbleized blushes come in 12 shades and are $30 when they're not on sale. But I want to look now, this is a really famous product for the brand. This is the Baked Natural Glow Highlighter. And they have these in some quads and some duos. This is the highlighter by itself. It is uh, $24 when not on sale. And this is the shade French Vanilla. And I brought over a little highlight brush of my own. The, the thing about this is it's a really gentle highlight and I like it especially going over, ooh, isn't that pretty? The highlighty blush we already used. So it just kind of complements it without making it too, too much. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the nose and over. Look at that, especially with these baked powder uh, foundation that I have on. Let me get rid of this mirror. Again, remember my blush might still be a little lopsided, not on purpose. Isn't that pretty though? Really my face just looks so natural. This is just a really nice, pretty, everyday, reliable look. And I'm, re I'm really pleased with it. I'm so happy with how the brows came out. They look lovely, really, really lovely. And this, these slightly glowy brushes combined with a tame highlighter, that's the way to go. I was also really impressed so far with these brushes. They're so gentle and easy to use. Okay. Let's take a look now. We got we got a mascara and a lipstick. Let's first look at the Modern Classic Clean Lipstick. This is $21 when not on sale and comes in six shades. It's color and moisture in a single stroke. And this is the shade Pink Passion, which I'll put here. Oh, that's pretty. I just put right here for you guys to see on my hand. Let's take a look at it. Ooh, really comfy. Super easy to apply. Wow. Mmm. That's delightful on the lips. And really pretty too. I feel like this is a really retro shade. Almost 70s, 80s, but in a good way. Not in you know, retro with today's twist. It feels really kind of fun that way. Like it feels like this would go with a maxi dress, right? This color lipstick. I always put things together in my head with fashion. That's just how it works for me. So certain color lipsticks make me think of a certain dress or a cute pair of jeans, or this really makes me feel like a maxi dress. 
this lipstick. Very, very pretty. Okay, now on the eyes, we have a few things to do. We have the mascara that I want to try, but I think I'm going to bring out my uh, refer brush here, number 27, and I think I want to take this apricot blush and put it a little bit onto the eyes. I didn't put anything on my eyes. I just like the fact that I can get into individual shades there, and I just like using, I like using products in different ways. And you know to me everything is a face palette, guys. You know how I am. So this is just, I think, a really fun way to use it. All I'm doing is something really simple. You guys know me. I love the um, blush on the eyes as well. It just always ties the look together. And then I'm going to take this other refer brush here. And I'm, I'm trying to stick mostly to this brown uh, part in here. And I'm just going to get it a little bit under the eyes. Then I'm going to take that same brush and with the highlighter, and with the highlighter, we're going to go into the inner corner just to add a little bit of interest and slightly onto the eye a little bit. Oh, I'm happy with this. I'm telling you, that lipstick, this is so maxi dress lipstick, I can't let it go. Okay, I curled my eyelashes off camera so that we can go ahead and go in with the Always There Waterproof Mascara. $24 when it's not on sale. Uh, and there's two mascaras, but this is the waterproof version. And if you like to keep your lashes curled, I told you guys I curled mine before I came on, but if you like to keep your lashes curled, this is a great option, waterproof mascara. Also, if you're a crier, uh, it's almost graduation season, or for some of you, your kids have graduated already, this would be a great one. Who doesn't cry at their kids' graduations? Your own graduation, so many of you are students. And here we are. Oh, wow. And I'm just kind of taking it, running it over the tips of the lashes and making sure that I don't forget any here on the side. Oh, this is really fluttery and beautiful. Let me show you before we do the other side. Let me just show you the difference. Here we go with, without. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I'm really happy with that. Really happy with that, okay? Well, what do you think? There is our finished look. What a perfect, perfect look. And it's Friday morning here. I'm going out, running some errands, a few different appointments, and I feel fresh-faced and ready to go. Really pretty, not overdone, but a really healthy glow, and my skin feels really nice. The products just really are sitting nicely on the skin. These baked powder products are not looking powdery on the skin. And in, in other words, they're feeling like they're at one with my skin and not sitting on top of it. I gotta tell you, I'm a massive fan of that brow product. I know brow products aren't exciting, but when you get a good one, that is a nice brow product. The mascara, fantastic. I love that it's waterproof. You gotta have a good waterproof mascara in your arsenal, I'm telling you. And this blush that's glowy and colorful, but not too glowy and not too colorful, along with a really tame, gentle highlight, winners all around. I have got everything linked below, including these lovely brushes, the uh, collapsing kabuki brush for travel, the powder brush, everything that you have seen here is linked below. Remember, depending upon when you are seeing this video, if it is now, uh, when I first published the video or over Memorial Day weekend, there is a sale with everything up to 60% off plus an extra 10%. Um, and all you have to do is add code MD10. All of that will be down below as well in my link area where everything is linked. When you check out, use my links if you will, and when you check out, type in code MD10 and you will get whatever savings you've already gotten plus 10% more because they are having a great sale. I noticed when I was nosing around on there, lots of prices crossed out with sale prices next to it. The prices I gave you during the video were non-sale prices 
depending upon when you're watching this video. It has some legs and will last a while. Uh, but if you're watching it on Memorial Day weekend 2023, um, all sorts of good stuff at the sale. You got to check it out. I mean, when they say up to 60% off, they mean it. I saw some amazing savings. And then when you add in code MD10, you'll get 10% more. And I have all of that information and links below for you. I would love to thank all the beautiful people at Laura Geller for thinking of me and for sending me out these beautiful products. I am now a Laura Geller convert. I can proudly say I have gone from a novice to a convert in the space of one video. Very, very proud to say so. So I thank you to Laura Geller. I would love to see what you guys have to say down below. It's what makes us a community. You guys were the ones who were initially telling me I had to try these products. Boy, were you ever right. So please let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Hey, if you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow. Come and say a big hello on Instagram and TikTok too. And don't forget that you can become more involved with this community here on YouTube by either becoming a channel member or by giving super thanks. But in any way that you are here, I am just thrilled to see you and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. I'm going to go put on that 70s maxi dress. <laughs>